While Uncle Sam is giving us a few extra days to file our taxes this year, somehow many of us wind up scrambling to meet what? the deadline here with some helpful advice is ABC's Alexis Christophorus. Alexis, a lot to go through. So for those who haven't filed their taxes yet, what do they need to know? Okay, well, wit, I mean, everybody else, you have <laughs> until Tuesday, April 18th to file electronically or through the mail. Now, if it's a paper return, it must be postmarked by 11.59 p.m. Tuesday. Check your local post office to see if they have extended hours for those last-minute filers. And also check your state tax deadlines, too, which may be later in the year. If you can't get your federal returns done by the deadline, you'll need to file an extension on irs.gov via the free file software. You don't don't need to provide a reason why, and there's no penalty to file an extension. And this will give you until October 16th to file your tax return. But not paying on time or enough or failing to file altogether can cost you. The IRS will charge you interest on the unpaid balance until you pay the full amount. And it is important to note that an extension to file is not an extension to pay. So if you owe the IRS money, you still need to pay by the deadline. The IRS says a good rule of thumb, estimate what you owe by using your previous year's taxes as a guide, maybe add a little bit extra to pad it. If you pay too much, you'll get a refund, of course, too little. Don't worry, they'll send you a bill. Important reminders about that extension. Now, for those who may have put off filing because they know they're going to have a bill, any last minute suggestions to try to reduce that tax liability? Absolutely. You know, it's not too late to make a tax deductible donation to your IRA. You have until Tuesday, April 18th to do that. It won't only reduce your tax bill, it will also boost your retirement savings. Be sure to proofread your returns to catch any costly mistakes as well. Okay, so is there anything different this year compared to previous years when it comes to filing? And for those expecting a refund, because lots of Americans are looking forward to seeing that money, when could they? Right, so those refunds are running about 11% lower this year because those pandemic-era tax breaks have expired, things like the expanded child tax credit and earned income tax credit. The typical refund averaging just under $3,000. The IRS says you should see that check in about 21 days sooner if you signed up for direct deposit. You can track the status of your refund at the IRS's website, Where's My Refund Tool. As for what to do with that refund, well, before you go out and splurge on a new TV or a vacation, experts recommend using that money to pay down debt, especially credit card debt, Janae, since the average credit card interest rate now tops 20%. And with gas prices and food prices, that average refund of $3,000 could really help. Alexis, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.